I, I just felt devastated. I felt like there was nothing I could do. Like the first, the first diagnosis we got was that the tumor would be untreatable because it was on my brainstem. Um, we went to Duke University Hospital, um, and they told us that I, it was a very treatable form of cancer that they could take out with radiation or chemotherapy. And it was called pineal germinoma. It's like some gland somewhere in the brain. I'm not exactly sure, but um, it was. It was close to the brain stem, but not right on it. 30 days of radiation, I chose that because it was less chance of getting sick during treatment and it was more of a success rate. When the doctor came in the room while we were waiting, he was, he was like, disappearing tumor. That just, we were all just so happy right there. I felt like I could conquer, conquer anything. I just had God by my side and I felt like there was nothing I couldn't do. Started off with the DVD baseball tournament and that really got me into fundraising. In the past couple years, I've been working for the um, Make-A-Wish Youth Leadership Council and I've been working on finding ways to like give back to Make-A-Wish and like give kids the chance to live out their dreams. Um, and I've also worked on going doing fundraisers for the um, leadership links like for the Carolina Cup. Um, that's been really great like I've been able to like relate my experiences with cancer and my experiences with golf so I can like help people in any way I can. If we can keep finding kids that need it, and I know we can keep finding kids that need it because there's so much need in this world. Whatever situation somebody's going through, whether it be a rough day at school, a rough day at the golf course, um, or if you're even fighting cancer, you need to know that there's always hope. Um, there's always somebody you can trust to get you through that situation.